What's going on, everybody? I'm back with another Prize Picks NBA Player Props video. This one going to be breaking it down, giving you guys a six pick flex that I already locked in myself and sent over uh, to my KJK DFS VIP members last night. We were able to cash in on a nice 10x over there. Had a bunch of different people um, in the winner circle, so I'm going to be sharing a ticket with you guys that I once again have already shared over there. Uh, for free in this one, guys. If you enjoy the content, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload, guys. It's free. Uh, just reached 19,000 subscribers, so thank you to everyone that supports. But the last video, I ran the analytics real quick, and 65.8% of the people that watched that video were not subscribed. Uh, only 34.2% that watched it were subscribed. So if you're watching this, taking this information for free, and you're enjoying it, uh, hit the subscribe button. It really does help me out. It takes two seconds and hit that like button. And like I said, I'm giving you some premium picks for free on the channel lately, giving you a lot of six pick flexes. I want to go ahead and ramp up the content here. We have 2024 right around the corner. I'm going to be providing a ton more value on the channel and over um, in the VIP. Like I said, if you want to get access to every single one of my tickets, I'm only sharing with you guys one on the channel. Uh, it's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite. Like every play that I play for the most part is a one unit play. So, you know, it's a standard play with some good value that I'm locking in. Um, this one's a fun one with a bunch of stars. So I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. Um, but if you were a VIP member yesterday, you would have been really happy. I mean, we had a bunch of winner circle, a uh, bunch of people in the winner circle. This is the one that I already shared with you guys that I sent in last. But not only has basketball been kind to us, college football action has been fantastic over in the VIP. Had a bunch of people celebrating a sweep last night uh, over there with that Oklahoma-Arizona game. Um, the Jacob Cowling pivot paid off for a lot of people in the VIP. I was on McMillan, the tight end, so it was a 5-1 and one ticket for me. Uh, but I know many members pivoted as well to um, – uh, not McMillan, but the, the uh, McClanahan, I think is, is the tight end's name. So we had a lot of sweeps in college football. And then, of course, these uh, NBA tickets that the people that tailed uh, my own. Cash in as well, 50 and a 500 here for Ed the Fred. Um, V-neck as well. Uh, my play of the day yesterday was the LeBron James. Under fantasy, really liked it. Cash, no sweat. Uh, under 52 and a half, he only put up 36.3. Uh, so... Anyways, point being, if you uh, like this content, you want more from me, you want access to every single one of my picks, every single one of my tickets, the Patreon is going to be where it's at. That's going to be linked below in the description. There's been many people that have hit the join button on YouTube. That's not it. Uh, click the link uh, down below in the description for the Patreon. That's where you're going to go to sign up, and that's how you're going to get access to every single one of my tickets as soon as I place them. Uh, this is the second NBA ticket that I placed so far today, and it's got a bunch of studs in it. Uh, this is a pretty loaded slate tonight, so it's going to be a fantastic night for you to join. <laughs> Uh, honestly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gamer, and um, the game environments are fantastic, and we're going to discuss some of them throughout this video. So, uh, let's talk about if you're a new user and you haven't signed up for Prize Picks, you can use the promo code KJKDFS and receive an instant match on your first deposit. Get get that free money offer, and then start winning money with these picks today. So, um, we'll go game by game. As we always do, and we got some positive correlation, I think, in this ticket. Uh, some really high uh, upside guys, and and like I said, it should be a fun one. Um, not only is there good value, but it should be pretty fun to uh, sweat here tonight. So, uh, first game I want to discuss is going to be this Sacramento Kings Atlanta Hawks game. It has a 252 over under. This game is expected to absolutely fly, and uh, a guy that I keep promoting on the channel all year long has been De'Aaron Fox. And for good reason, um, he's on the Sacramento Kings. When we look at the top-paced teams in the entire league as far as uh, the NBA is concerned, the Kings are top 10 in pace. So they do play very fast, which has led to Fox uh, being in a lot of high-scoring games. Once again tonight, we have a 252 over-under. You look at his uh, fantasy point production on the season. He's third on the slate tonight, trailing only John Morant and Shea Gilders-Alexander, putting up 1.38 fantasy points per minute. We look at the Sacramento Kings rotation. Uh, he's been playing a ton of minutes in competitive games. Last couple times out, he's played 39 and 38 minutes. He's playing like 40 minutes a game uh, in competitive games. That's a big deal. You look at the fantasy point production, once again, 1.38. If he's going to go out there and play that allotment of minutes, he's going to end so many games in the 50s. And especially a game like this, where a 252 over under. This game, as far as a projected pace, is expected to come in with a 101.3 pace metric. 
it's going to be a lot of up and down guys. And if that's the case, then this is certainly a ceiling spot uh, for Mr. De'Aaron Fox. And I want to be targeting him tonight, no doubt in my mind. Like I said, this ticket's going to be very star-studded. It should be a fun one for you guys as I kind of go along here. There's going to be a lot of um, studs we're cheering for here tonight. Fox last time out, 43 points, one steal, one block, four assists, eight rebounds, 27 points, two steals, six assists, four rebounds a time prior. That's what he can do. He's a great rebounding point guard. He's going to dish out the assists. He can get absolute buckets, and then he can contribute with those blocks and steals. Obviously, that's all factored into the fantasy point per minute production uh, rates that we're discussing here, but it does not get much better than uh, De'Aaron Fox in the fantasy scoring category, which is a category I've talked a lot on the channel about and a category that I attack all the time, man. Um, uh, as far as my latest projection on De'Aaron Fox, let's go ahead and see here. Um, I've got him going out there. As far as the ceiling, he's got an upside of like 60 plus. So last time I got to Portland, 62. Um, once again, this game environment, a 252 over under with a 125.5 implied total for his team, a one point spread with the pace, like all of the players we're talking about in this video are going to be in ceiling type environments, and uh, it's a big reason why I'm targeting their overs. Prize Picks does a, fan a fantastic job of pricing these guys, you know, right where about they're expected to be projected every night. Uh, for those of you that kind of don't know how projections work, when I'm discussing this, like guys have a ceiling, which is like the most possible they can score, a floor, which is like, you know, a bad game for them, and then their median projection prize picks is going to set a lot of these guys right at where their median projection should be. Sometimes they make a mistake, we take advantage. Uh, but we're wanting to target spots where we think there might be a floor spot or a ceiling spot. These, This video, we're discussing, we're discussing all guys in ceiling spots. And uh, it starts with De'Aaron Fox uh, with his 48.5 fantasy score. Um, talked about the pace of the game, talked about his fantasy point production, talked about his minutes. If the game stays close, if he plays his full allotment of minutes, um, this is the type of game environment he could just absolutely go crazy, and then we're going to run it back on the other side. Once again, I'm talking about multiple game environments here that are expected to fly and expected to stay close, and if they do, these guys should hit their ceilings. Uh, on the other side, we have another fantastic guy in Trey Young. We look at Trey Young's production on the entire season. He's right behind De'Aaron Fox. 1.35 fantasy points per minute. He's got a 31% usage rate. That's absolutely elite. Anytime you're seeing a guy above a 30% usage rate, you know, he's with the best of the best. Donovan Mitchell, Trey Young, De'Aaron Fox, John Morant, Shea Gill, just they're going to have the ball in their hands so much throughout the game, obviously opening up opportunities for those points, assists. Um, we talked about how Fox is a fantastic rebounder. Trey Young, not exactly going to contribute too much in that, but he can contribute in so many other ways. Uh, and once again, he's going to play right around 40 minutes in competitive games. That's the big deal here. Uh, you combine the fantasy point production the minutes, the usage rate, and the pace of this game. These two guys are just in a dream spot. 252 over under, one point spread. The game should stay close, hopefully. Obviously, if it turns to a blowout, things can get dicey. These guys can get benched. But it's also nice having a runback option uh, for that reason. We want some you know, positively correlated plays here. If the game stay close and these teams actually put up what they're expected to, you know, Trey Young should be on the other side, balling out right along with uh, De'Aaron Fox. And if he does... Uh, should be able to smash his uh, fantasy score prop here once again. These are two very similar uh, storied players. And like I said, it's going to be kind of what we're talking about throughout this entire video of uh, guys that just are in absolute ceiling spots. Trey Young is one of those guys. 50.5 fantasy score. Um, once again, same game environment. Should absolutely fly. Very similar story as far as minutes are concerned. Very similar story as far as usage and fantasy point production. You know, 1.35, 1.38, both can play like right around 40 minutes. Um, and if they do, you know, Trey Young once again has a ceiling of, I guarantee right around what we just talked about with De'Aaron Fox on my latest run. Yeah, 60 plus. Both these guys, you know, sitting at 60 plus as far as their ceiling is concerned. Um it's really that simple. We're talking about 10 total fantasy points off the median projection here that they could go over. That's not going to be the case with every guy that you target on a fantasy score prop. So that's pretty pretty significant, pretty big deal uh, for those two picks to kind of lead things off. And then it's going to be kind of the same thing in this next game and the same thing throughout this video. We have a, another game environment that's expected to fly, be really high scoring. It's the Milwaukee Bucks taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. This game has a 239.5 over under, six point spread in favor of Milwaukee. 
So it's expected to stay close. Donovan Mitchell's been out with an injury, uh, an illness. He participated in shoot around last time out and then didn't end up playing. But I think he's going to be a full goal in this one, which should uh, keep this game close. This spread might come down once Donovan Mitchell's con officially confirmed him. All right, well, we'll start things with Giannis Antetokounmpo, another guy. Once again, crazy good fantasy point producer. Um, and really the biggest thing for him is if the games don't turn into a blowout. Uh, 1.63 fantasy points per minute. He's got a 33% usage rate. We just talked about that elite usage rate. 34.7 minutes per game. You look at his minutes over these last few. Hasn't been playing a ton of minutes. Why is that, though? Because every single game has been turned into a blowout. Not every single game, but the majority of them. Brooklyn last time, 122-144 final score. That game turned into a blowout. He only played 30. Last time against the Knicks, uh, that it was a close game. He played 39. Similar to all these guys we're talking about here. He's going to play like 40 minutes uh, if the game can stay close. Look at the game environment, 239.5 over under. If Giannis plays 40 minutes in this kind of a game environment, the 122.75 applied total for the Milwaukee Bucks, we're once again talking about a ceiling spot for him. Uh, we look at where Price Picks has him priced over here. You know, it's going to be a high number. No, no surprise. It's Giannis. He's cleared this in four of the last five. If he's out there on the court for that full amount of minutes and the game does stay close, he's going to get you there in this game. You know, he's going to get those rebounds. We know 10, 14, 13, 10. He's contributing great in the assist category for a big 6-7, 6-8, 16 assists, the two blocks, two blocks, one steal, uh, the profiles, and the points, 32, 32. Um, I mean, the guy is ridiculously good in the prize picks fantasy scoring format, and he's got the highest ceiling of anyone uh, in, in the NBA tonight as in my projections. He's a guy that can go out there and get up 70-plus, so... Um, once again, Price Picks is going to set the line, you know, very appropriately, very solid. 57.5 is a great line, but we're aiming for ceiling games here throughout this video. And, and Giannis in another spot where we could see a ceiling game, 239.5 over under. And then we talked about how we're running Fox and Trey Young against each other so that the game, you know, hopefully lives up to the hype. They both ball out and hit their ceilings. We're going to stick with the same thing in this one. Like I said, Donovan Mitchell. Is uh, not confirmed as in yet, but I would anticipate he's going to be. He participated in shootout last uh, shoot around last game against the Mavs. He didn't quite play, but I got a feeling they had this game circled on the calendar for Donovan Mitchell to return. Um, they are dealing with some injuries throughout this rotation. You know, no Darius Garland right now, no Evan Mobley. Donovan Mitchell hasn't played the last one, two, three, four games with an illness, but you know, it certainly sounds like he's been getting his conditioning in, ramping back up to return. And in competitive games before he went down, you could see 40, 41, 45 minutes. Uh, he's a young guy, young talent. I'm not anticipating him to have him on like, you know, a minutes limit when he returns. I think he's going to be a full go um, in a big Eastern Conference game here tonight against the Milwaukee Bucks. I think he's going to come back, come back with a vengeance, and his usage should be through the roof. Uh, like I said, no Evan Mobley. No Darius Garland. So we're talking about a guy that already has a usage rate through the roof. Now we're talking about two really heavy usage um, guys in their rotation being out. Donovan Mitchell, 30% usage rate, 1.29 fantasy points per minute. You know, if he's going to play that 40 minutes or so that we're anticipating in the play, that's going to put him right in the 50s. You know, like every single one of these guys we're discussing, it's kind of the same story, but it's a, it's a beautiful slate, man. You don't get an opportunity to attack these studs in this kind of a game environment every slate. So take advantage tonight as far as I'm concerned. And Donovan Mitchell falls in that same category. Um, sir, I always like to pull up the game logs just so we can get a visual to you guys, of kind of how these guys do it. Mitchell, going to score you points. Um, he is a guard, so a lot of the steals are going to come from him at the top of the arc. And then there's assists. 13 assists, 22 points, 2 steals, 5 rebounds. 31 points, 1 steal, 6 assists, 8 rebounds. Similar to De'Aaron Fox, great rebounding guard when he needs to be. And uh, no Evan Mobley now. You know, might be crashing the glass a little more than we're used to seeing without the two bigs in Cleveland being healthy. And um, once again, ceiling spot, 48.5. This is a guy that can go out there and get in the 60s, 70. Uh, every guy we're talking about in this video really can, can touch 70-plus fantasy points. And um, if the game stays close, it's going to be, thanks to the contributions of Giannis and Donovan Mitchell kind of going at each other if the game goes you know, as fast as expected to go, as in all those points that are expected to be scored, score. Um, looking at another ceiling fantasy score performance for Donovan Mitchell. 
And then we're going to round the video out with the same theme. We got a game environment that's fantastic with two ridiculously good fantasy point producers. It's Shea Gildas Alexander um, for the Oklahoma City Thunder, who's been a stud. 117 points, 2-5 implied total for them. Michael Porter Jr. is listed as questionable on the Denver side. Denver has a 2 half point spread. Um, could make it so that this game is even closer without Michael Porter Jr. in, hopefully. And Shea Gildas' fantasy point production, best of any point guard in the entire slate. It's going to be the same theme here. 1.64 fantasy points per minute is absurd. Um, that is so good. His minutes over the last few games, 36, 33, 38, 32. So he's been playing some games in the low 30s, mid 30s. And then in competitive games, he's been in the upper 30s. Last time he played Denver, 37 minutes. And uh, with a 1.64 fantasy point per minute production, man, you don't even need to play you know, 40 minutes to be able to go out there and put up 70 plus. Um, Shea Gildas has been that guy. And once again, another game environment where he can shine here. 54.5 fantasy score, um, putting up 61.3 over his last five. This guy is so good, man. Uh, I love getting Shea in my tickets when he's in, in good spots. It just seems like he's a cheat code. The points, the assists, and then the, the steals, the blocks. Um, he's a very active guard. You, you pull up the game logs, 36 points, 2 blocks, 2 steals, 8 assists, 7 rebounds, 34 points, 2 steals, 1 block, 9 assists, 6 rebounds. And anytime his fantasy score is available, we know we can get buckets, but I get really excited about it. He's had some games where he's not even performing that great in the other categories. But you can see here, 4 steals, 4 steals. You get 3 points for every one of those in the prize for fantasy scoring format. Uh, if you've been watching my content for quite some time, you've heard me say that a thousand times, but it, it really is a big deal in the fantasy scoring format. If you have a guy that can contribute in those peripheral stats with the, the blocks and steals, and Shea is certainly that guy um, for pick number five here. And on the other side, if you've been watching the video and listening, you probably know exactly where I'm going uh, because we're having a run back option in the good game environment. That ceiling is through the roof, and that's Nikola Jokic. Uh, for the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets are in the second half of back-to-back, -back, but luckily for them last night, it was a blowout. So Jokic didn't even play in the entire fourth quarter. 30 minutes, he should be well-rested in this one um, as compared to if he had to play the whole game. Didn't play the whole fourth quarter, should be rested up. Uh, once again, Michael Porter Jr. is listed as questionable. He might sit in this one, which should just increase Jokic's usage even more. And Jokic, once again, one of the top fantasy point producers in the entire NBA, whose ceiling is just through the roof. He is the top fantasy point producer this season with a 1.76 fantasy point per minute metric as far as the prize fix fantasy scoring format. 30% usage rate as a starting center is absurd. Um, you know... Nikola Jokic is a rare talent, 33 points, uh, six minutes per game. The usage rates through the roof. And once again, he's going to play right around upper 30s, 40 minutes if the game's competitive. He played 37 against OKC last time they played each other. If the game stays competitive, if the game scores the amount of points it's expected to score with this 237 over under, Jokic once again is in a ceiling type of game environment, and he should be able to crush. Shea has 70-plus fantasy point upside. So does Nikola Jokic on the run back with 60.5. Um, and this is the type of game environment he can do it, man. So we have a crazy good slate. I mean, these six players and their ceiling and these game environments should be a lot of fun. If the games can just stay close, um, we have a really, really solid six-man here. And I explained it. Obviously, their fantasy score props are going to be set very appropriately on prize picks oftentimes, right, guys? So we're detecting floor spots and ceiling spots. You know, we're not just taking overs on these guys every game environment uh, because they're studs. These are really, really good game environments tonight. 237 over under, two and a half point spread, right? So it's expected to fly and stay close. We're talking about 119.5 implied total for the, the Nuggets of 117. Then we go up to the Cavs and the Bucks. Once again, 239. Six-point spread. Expected to stay close. 116.75, 122. Really good. 252 over under in this Kings uh, Hawks game with a one-point spread. 126.5 implied total, 125.5. And then we have guys with heavy usage rates, solidified minutes, and really good fantasy point per minute production. Um so everything's kind of coming together to be able to attack this. Like I said, it should be a lot of fun. Like if you like cheering for studs, I think we all do, you know, it's a lot more fun at times 
from a fandom aspect of going for overs than unders. Um, you know, I don't really care. I just strictly process when I'm locking in my tickets. But, you know, it's always nice when I can come on the channel and say, like, these studs are in really good game environments and they can hit their ceiling and, you know, get to cheer them on all night. That's the kind of ticket that we have here tonight um, with these guys. So um, I did already lock this in myself. Um, did already send it to my VIP members. So um, just for a... A little recap here and I'll show you on the screen that I sent it into my VIP too just to prove it to you guys you know I do send in these plays I do play them I have it up right here but if you're looking to get access this was ticket number two so I already did lock in one before that um, so I'm just sharing the second ticket that I that I placed uh, today with you guys you know it's not my favorite it's not my least favorite I, I like the plays obviously um, but this just so happens to be the second NBA ticket I placed I'm gonna have more coming out if you want to get access to all of them um, already sent it in and already locked it in myself. So, you know, I'm always playing the plays that I'm promoting. Uh, I'm breaking them down on the channel with you guys. You're getting a clear visual um, and, you know, some audio from me, <laughs> a breakdown of what's going into my process. So um, if you're listening, you're enjoying, and you're like, this guy's not what he's talking about. I want more access. The VIP member package is going to be where it's at. And then the obvious answer is if the picks hit, you know, like if the picks hit for you and you get a nice sweep, get a little cash and then you want to join, that's great. I did my job. You know, I earned your uh, subscription. That's fine with me. Uh, so that's all for me in this one, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe, subscribe button before you head out the door if you enjoyed. Wishing you all the best of luck on your prize picks NBA player props tonight. And we will see you in the next one. Thank you.